Kari Sanford, the man found guilty of two counts of first-degree intentional homicide back in 2020, will now spend the rest of his life in prison with no possibility of parole. Sanford charged with murdering his then-girlfriend's parents. Here is how we got to this point. In March of 2020, Dr. Beth Potter and her husband, Robin Kari, were found shot and left for dead in the UW Arboretum. A jogger had found their bodies. And then less than a month later in April, Sanford was charged with two counts of first-degree intentional homicide. An accomplice, Elijah LaRue, was also arrested. Later in May of 2022, after a week-long jury trial, Sanford was found guilty of killing the couple. And finally today, Judge Ellen Burr is sentencing Sanford to life in prison with no possibility of parole. Our Catherine Merck joins us live now outside the Dane County Courthouse after listening to the sentencing inside the courtroom today. Catherine. Before giving out the sentencing today, the judge said that today is no day for celebration for either Kari Sanford or the family of the victims. Rather, today is a day to protect others moving forward in hopes that Sanford becomes a changed man behind bars. I sentence you to life in prison without eligibility for release. It's what the judge described as a sad and somber day for both sides of the courtroom. Two lives were taken away. Another life will be dramatically changed. Before his fate was determined, Kari Sanford shared his own perspective. What is a typical teenager? His team said his difficult home life should have been taken into account, asking for him to be able to petition for a parole hearing after 25 years in prison. If taking my life is what it takes to repay them, and to resolve the grievances of this beautiful family and define justice, I would be honored, Your Honor. Take it. These words wouldn't be enough for the judge or the state. He is the personification of, of a nightmare. Both agreed that the two lives that have been lost were irreplaceable. You have utter disregard for human life. This man's life is now changed forever in hopes for what the judge says is to protect everyone else. Anyone in the public, no matter how kind they are to you, no matter how generous they are to you, no matter how much they try to help you, they are at risk of being killed by you. Sanford's accomplice, Elijah LaRue, was also charged today. He's getting eight years of prison with 10 years of parole. Reporting live in Madison, I'm Catherine Merck with News 3 Now.